What up, my hitters? It's your boy, Fresh the Barber, with another one today. I'm doing a Sif Observe on point. Happy Sunday to y'all. Before I get into it, a little quick convo, I'm going to say my grace. Thank God for everything. Father God, I want to thank you for this meal you gave to me today. I want to thank you for giving me life, waking me up every morning, keeping me motivated. I thank you for just watching out for my family, my friends. Thank you for looking out for my wife. I mean, everybody I love out there. And I just thank you, God, for just letting me be me every day. And I'm just, I pray, man. Now I want to start on the topic about loyalty and friendships. That seems to be the real convo that we go through every day. You get people in your life that want to be your friend, but the first thing they do is turn their back on you. They talking crazy. They sneak this, and that's one thing I can't stand is a sneak disser. They be hanging with you real tough like they loyal with you, like they got your back to the end, like they really rocking with you. Then they gonna stab you right in the fucking back every single time because they jealous of what you got. It could be the way you dress or the jewels you wear. It don't even matter what it is. You can just be a smart person, be an honest, just humble person, and they hating on that. They don't even care about the good personality about you, what you have, the attributes. They just want to just hate. They want to put you down. They want to start fights or talk to somebody else behind your back about you. It could be your family to turn their back on you. That's the one thing I cannot stand. Like, to me, that ain't real to me. Like, you talking about, that's my round, that's my homie, my roadie. How is that even possible if y'all always being fake? Like, y'all quick to, like, try to stab somebody in the back and put somebody up against the wall because y'all ain't on y'all on y'all game. Y'all either ain't working or y'all ain't going to school or y'all ain't got no hobbies or something good to do with y'all life, but y'all want to talk back about somebody else. Like, that I don't understand. Where I come from, I'm a man of respect. My parents always taught me well, like, respect your elders, you know what I'm saying? Respect your peers. You know, they respect you the same way, they go a long way, go far. But if you hang with somebody that's always kind of like, real kind of creepy, just rolling with you. And one thing I don't like is when somebody sitting in the back seat of your car while you driving, they staring at you real sideways and always fixing their damn head. One is just their head, but they looking real flunky-ish, real, just kind of creepy-ish, like, Make you wonder, like, damn, is that really my homeboy? Like, should I just go ahead and whip this motherfucker ass? Or, you know, get him out of my sight? Like, excuse my, you know, language, but that irritates me. Like, it irks me so bad. Like, I have to tell my wife sometimes, like, we need to watch who we hang with, too. Like, everybody ain't loyal. Everybody ain't your friend. Where I come from, it's like, you really got to watch your back. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's different out here in certain areas, too. It's just pretty much everywhere you go. But I'm telling you, sometimes... People get hurt over the dumbest thing. You can get, you know, beat up, shot, whatever. Lied on, I mean, plotted on. It could be in a mall or just anywhere, but y'all gotta protect yourself. Protect them babies too out here too. And stop letting them cross the street by themselves. Walking around by themselves out there with no coat on. Ain't even with their parents then. You see parents sometimes in traffic. They crossing the street and then it's like, they got their kids almost five, six feet away from them. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Y'all supposed to be holding y'all child's hand. Like, y'all don't do stuff like that. Like, y'all tripping. That's how people get hit by a car or something else could happen. Otherwise, somebody getting snatched up. Y'all have to be on y'all P's and Q's out here. Like, we in another zone. Not only is 2019, but we in our last days where people are acting real shife out here. Y'all got to be on point with what y'all doing as far as responsibilities or friendships, relationships, any kind of whatever. Y'all got to really, you know, get your mind right. You know, start praying harder, too. Get right with God, too. And I know there's some idiots out there that don't even believe in God. They be talking down, oh, I don't believe in this and that. I only uh, serve this and that God. No, it's only one real God y'all should serve. And that's Jesus Christ himself. I'm Look, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm not only speaking this because I got baptized, but I'm speaking on this because I've been through it. I've been to the bottom. I've been through the mud. I've been drugged through the mud. You know what I'm saying? I done got to a point where I almost want to give up. You know, at a young age, you're like 24, 25 years old. And it's like now I done got to a certain point in my life, even though I'm 32 years old, I done got to a point now where it's like I'm ready to really appreciate, you know, the life I live. You know, I live a great life. Yeah, I'm going to have struggles and, you know, trying times, but that's just how it is. That just comes with the whole entire living situation. It's coming to just growing. It's a growing situation. It's not just about up. Uh, Wake up in the morning, everything gonna be just peaches and cream because there are gonna be days where it's gonna be like, what the heck? Life is hard, but we gotta be strong out here. I'm telling you, you don't wanna fold under pressure. 
No matter what nobody say, no matter what, you know, how you feel, keep going, keep grinding, keep pushing yourself every day. Keep climbing to the top, because once you hit the top, I'm telling you, it tastes good at the top. You don't want to come back down to the bottom. Once you make it up there, you want to stay up there. You know what I'm saying? You don't want us to see yourself fold, go and put all this work in. I mean, really just bust your tail for decades to get where you want to be at, just to go right back to the bottom. You don't want to do that. It's no game out here. If y'all really want to make it, y'all want to be happy, get your mind right with God first. That's where it always starts. It starts at finding yourself, get familiar with yourself, you know, figure out what you like and love about yourself. But also at the same time, put God first too. Put God first. Because that man above right there is our blessing, I'm telling you. Everything that we have today, I mean, he provides. He really do. And anybody who tell you he don't provide is a liar. The devil's a liar. Y'all need to think about that. Before y'all start getting all self-observed about opinions and what y'all think, think about that man above that blessed us to die on that cross for us. Because he's the reason why we're still standing today. Why we even made it to 2019. Because it could have went the other way around. We got a very good life. It don't matter. We ain't got to have the most money in the world to just be happy. We can just, hell, be where we at and still be happy. I mean, as long as we working, we got something to live for. People staying in school, they grinding, they got something that they love, maybe art or fashion, whatever it is. It's a hobby. It's something that's going to make you feel good about yourself. Take y'all chances, man. Don't give up out here. Keep going. Build y'all family, you know, find you a special somebody and lock it down. But stay away from the ratchet females too out there because they ain't no good. I'm telling you, they'll stab you right in your back. They ain't nobody to mess around with. But as far as friendships go, we got friendships out here, man. Make sure everybody in your clique or who you roll with is 100% loyal, 100% for you. That's really rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody that's going to turn their back on you or fail you. Be, you know, not rocking with a full deck. Them the ones you got to watch out for. They snakish. And, you know, I don't like snakes, period. See, I got to definitely get y'all mind right. You know, get familiar with people that y'all roll with, that y'all cool with, that y'all flock to. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to, world. But I'm going to hop off here. It's Fresh the Barber, hashtag. Holler at me, journey on the go. I love y'all. Peace.